Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go through my nighttime skincare routine. I know my first video is a morning skincare routine. We're in the bathroom, as you can see, I'm actually gonna be doing it with you guys. And today what I'm gonna be focusing on is a lot of gentle products. My skin has been pretty dry lately. I normally have combo to oily skin. I think I haven't been drinking enough water or something. My skin has been very, very dry in the T-zone, which is normally where I get pretty oily. So we're gonna be doing my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine step skincare routine. So please keep watching. So I'm going to start with a double cleanse. This is by Burst. This is the day dissolve cleansing balm that I've been trying out. Um, I don't wear makeup or anything, but I do wear sunscreen every single day. And even if you're wearing sunscreen, I'd recommend a double cleanse just to get that gunk off and then Follow up with your regular cleanser just so you have a clean palette to cleanse all that gunk off. So this is an oil consistency and you just rub it and massage it all over your skin. It feels really, really nice. Some people have tools that they like using, like a massage tool. I know a lot of people like to use them to push their products in, like their serums and moisturizers. But I actually recommend if you're doing that to actually, I know it might be kind of gross <laughs> to look at, but to do it now with this thick oil over your skin, because you want to have a slip on your skin. You don't want to be tugging at your skin. So if this gives you a really nice slip, you can massage your face if you would like to. I know it helps with like lymphatic drainage and all that, but I don't know, I've never really seen a difference with that. <laughs> so, just keep massaging it into your skin. If you're wearing makeup, I would just suggest taking your time with this. Letting it massage into your skin. Add a little bit more if you feel like you need to. But I feel like this is just so much better than makeup wipes or cotton rounds or anything like that. Okay. So one thing that everyone forgets to do with cleansing bombs is you have to emulsify it. So we're just gonna add a couple droplets of water to our fingers and begin to emulsify it. Now this is really the part that helps get all that gunk off. I don't know if you can see, but it's getting pretty white, which is what you want. And I feel like I really take my time with this step. I feel like this step is really going to just get the rest of my products into my skin a little bit better. And not worry about that sunscreen sitting on my skin. Because lately I've been trying to double, triple up on my sunscreen throughout the day. Just to protect myself from the sun. And I'm going to wash that off. Right. All right, so I don't need to go in with any towel or anything because I'm going to follow up with my regular cleanser, which is a water-based cleanser to really take off all that oil we just put on. So the one I like to go through and use is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I feel like this cleanser is a staple in everyone's bathroom. I feel like this is just so gentle. It really works for all skin types, so. I feel like if ever you're having a problem with your skin, you're having any type of irritation, I feel like you should just stick to a cleanser that you know is safe. You know it's not going to irritate your skin, you know it's not going to strip your skin from anything. <laughs> There's water dripping down my arms. I also have this lovely little mark here that decided to show up because I was so bored I was thinking of it. Of course, don't pick at your skin, but <laughs> I know I pick it all the time. So for your cleanser, in order to take off that oil, you wanna just try and go over to your skin for about 60 seconds just to get all that in there. 
This one's really good for hydrating your skin. CeraVe always makes their products with three different types of ceramides, which really helps to build that skin barrier and then retain all the moisture that we're going to add in afterwards. And just the natural moisture that your skin has. So. And this is gonna take off any excess makeup that you have on, any excess sunscreen, and all that oil that we just applied. Getting nice and pretty before bed. All right, I'm gonna wash that off. All right, and I don't like to use a towel on my face. Um, I will go ahead and dry out like my hair and my beard a little bit, but I don't like to use a towel on my face because I don't want to pull at my skin necessarily. I want to be as gentle as possible. So I just like to pat in that extra water. I have to say normally in the shower or at night when I'm not filming, I would go down to my nipples. You're supposed to wash your face, your neck, and your chest. So all of your products, your cleanser, your moisturizer, Bring it all the way down to your nipples if possible. So lately I've been liking to go in with either a toner or an essence. I haven't been using both necessarily. I feel like they kind of do the same thing, but I definitely like to include some of them, even if it's not a treatment toner, just to add some extra hydration to my skin. So this one I'm gonna go in with these, the Advanced Mucin Snail Serum from Rx. Just use about three pumps and pat it all over your skin. I think originally essence and toners they were used to really get the pH level back to your skin but now cleansers I think do a better job of keeping the pH level of your skin. Your pH of your skin is a belief pH of 5. If your cleanser is too stripping, it's going to change the pH level of your skin. But So for me, necessarily, this essence is just to add some bit extra hydration to my skin because I've been so dry. Some people like to do little whatever that is. <laughs> I'm gonna take it your neck, your chest, and any excess products that I have, I just like to put it on the back of my hands. So I also like to keep doing my skincare routine when my skin is damp. I feel like it brings all the products that I put on your skin just a little bit deeper. So we're gonna go in with the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10%, Zinc 1%. And with the rest of the products, I really go in with at a thickness level. I go from thinnest to thickest. So I feel like nice and wide it's really gentle for your skin. This one's kind of goopy <laughs> and does foam up a little bit which is strange but it's really supposed to help with the appearance of your pores and your sebum production so I feel like it really helps me on my congested t-zone. This one's super cheap too. I feel like this is a really nice beginner, nice and wide, if you're going to add it. So the next product, which I would only recommend you using on a little bit drier skin is if you were going to introduce it to your routine. This is a retinol. This is from Versed. This is the Gentle Retinol Serum. This one's a really nice beginner one because it's made with encapsulated retinol, so it's going to release that retinol into your skin little by little over time. It's not going to be as harsh as any other ones, and it's also made with, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, bakuchoil? Bakuchoil? <laughs> That's a retinol alternative. So this one's very gentle. It's a really good beginner one. So I'm able to use it on a little bit damp skin and allow it to go deeper. This one's also gentle enough where I could use it every night if I really wanted to. But if you were a beginner, I would suggest maybe starting with once a week with the retinol, but this one is a really good beginner retinol if you want to get into it. And this one's going to be good for anti-aging, cell turnover, collagen production. I feel like retinol is a staple in my routine. 
I do try and stay away from the eye area just because it can be a little bit more sensitive. So I kind of trust eye creams with retinols in it more than just retinol serum because that I feel like takes into consideration the sensitive area. So this one in particular asks you to wait at least a minute for it to soak into your skin. So while that's going in, I often put my eye cream on. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. This one's really nice. It is a bit thick though, so just keep that in mind. So I definitely wouldn't use this one necessarily during the day. I think it's too thick, but at night I don't mind it at all. I think it's a really nice moisturizer for under your eye area. And I think I talked about this before where eye cream you don't necessarily need to use it. You can just use your regular moisturizer, but there's certain things that I like about an eye cream, like the thickness of it or how bright it can make your under eye that I don't necessarily want for the rest of my face. So I like to use my middle finger or my ring finger, just kind of pat it in. You don't want to really pull at your under eye area because it is the most sensitive and we do not want any wrinkles a crow's feet or any of it. <laughs> you don't want to work with gravity. You want to work against it. So just keep pressing into your skin. Let it soak in. And while the retinol dries as well, I'm also going to go in with my lip balm. This is the Kiehl's Lip Balm. This one's just pretty inclusive. I like a thicker moisture on my lips when I go to bed at night. It's probably attractive. <laughs> All right, so after my retinol has sunk into the skin just a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this Propolis <laughs> Light Ample by Cosrx. This is a recent purchase of mine, but I really wanted it just to kind of rebuild my skin if ever it's feeling a little too dry or dehydrated. This one just helps to repair that moisture barrier again, repair any damaged skin that you might have. So like I have a post acne mark that I have, I have pretty dry skin on my nose. So I'm just going to use this to add an extra layer of hydration. But again, this is not something that I use every single night, just kind of when I feel like my skin needs it. You have to listen to your skin. And again, these products can kind of I feel like interchange with one another. It's just kind of the consistency of it. If you feel like one is thicker than the other, again, I say go thinnest to thickest. So this one's a little bit thicker, but this one helps with the dewiness of your skin. Kind of give you like a really nice glow. My skin is a little bit tacky right now, especially because of that retinol, but it does not stay. Really soaks into your skin just in a, uh, within a couple minutes, so you just have to give it some time. You have to get inside your beard if you have one. <laughs> Alright, and after the ampule, I'm gonna go in with my last step, which is my moisturizer. This one is the Advanced Snail, again, a Costar Hex product, all in one snail cream. This one's really nice, and I love this product because it's really a lightweight moisturizer, so I feel like I can double up on it if I need to. It's kind of nasty looking, <laughs> but it's not sticky on your skin necessarily. It soaks in really nicely. And again, so my skin's a little bit dry right now, so I'm gonna double up on it a little bit. Okay, that's attractive. <laughs> and again, this does not make your skin sticky necessarily, even though it looks like it's going to. Don't look at your neck. Don't look at your neck. This feels so nice. I think the snail serum thing, obviously you see that I like it, it's in my essence. I don't think there's any snail necessarily in the ampule, but I think Cosrx is really big on their snail products. And I think the idea of it's supposed to be, you know, that the gunk of the snail is really the thing that protects the snail's skin. So I think the idea is that it would do the same for our skin necessarily which is an interesting concept. And it does seem like it would make your skin sticky, but it really does not, and it's a really nice product. So go ahead and pat it in your skin. I suggest patting over rubbing. Obviously rub it to get it in and around your face just a little bit, but 
the pressing motion and the tapping of your skin can really help it be pushed down into your skin. And this is, I think, when a lot of people go in with their jade rollers or their, their tools to help get it into your skin just a little bit more. Again, my skin's a little bit dry right now, so I'm gonna go onto the dry parts and just add a little bit extra. This would also be when you really wanna go into like a really occlusive moisturizer. But I feel like moisturizer is a big preference. But this one's really nice because you can build it up. And just a final note, if you're going to be starting to use a retinol, definitely use a sunscreen during the day. So that double cleansing step is really important because you're gonna take off that sunscreen that you're gonna use after your retinol. Because retinol can be a little harsh, it's gonna make you a little more sensitive to the sun. All right, that is my nighttime skincare routine. It's pretty simple for the most part. The nine steps kind of go by pretty fast. It's a really gentle routine for me to help repair my skin overnight and kind of help retain that moisture barrier that I think I'm ruining a little bit right now during quarantine. And I've repurchased these products multiple times, so these are kind of stable products for me. Make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, go check me out on Instagram. I even made a TikTok if you would like to come follow me on there. So with that being said, I'm ready for bed. So good night and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.